Hey guys, there's been a lot of chatter in the reefing community, in our little reefing community on YouTube about these UFO lights and uh, I picked one up and right after I ordered it, Reefing with O asked me if I would like his and uh, I said I didn't get it yet but when I get mine I would probably get another one because I have more than one refugium plan going on. So he was kind enough to give me his. He's moved on to, uh, I believe, a Kessel for his refugium. And uh, he said the only complaint he had with this light was that it was a little close under his stand and heat was an issue. So he couldn't get it far enough away. But these are the lights here. They're made in China. Um, I have taken it apart because I wanted to look into it a little more. But... I think no matter what brand they are, they're going to say that on the back. And um, you get them for, uh, eBay seems to be the best price. You can get these for under $30 on eBay. Okay. So I noticed when he gave it to me that it had this little bit of staining of rust. And I was talking on a live stream with Paul from um, Reefing Community Worldwide. He does a lot of live streams. He's from the UK. And he said he heard of somebody who opened theirs up and it was horrible inside with corrosion. So that little bit of rust there made me look into it. So I did take the three screws out of the side. And then there's three more screws that hold this LED array to the board here. Actually, it holds the LEDs to the front cover. So I took it apart and uh, rather than uh, seeing any corrosion I see a little bit of dust and uh, you know we can go over the parts of it but the only corrosion was really where I guess the water was sitting I'm trying to get the light right for you. Maybe some moisture got between the lens and this you know iron or you know low quality metal and um, another thing I noticed is that it states in the specifications of the light that this is glass. It is not glass. It is definitely thin acrylic. So, yeah, there's little um, metal that you can bend that holds it in place. Just three little tabs of metal. And um, I'm sure I can unbend that, clean that up, maybe put a little silicone or something on there to just seal it off a little better. But I don't even see the need for it. But I will open it up and clean those out. So then I said, well, let me look into the light a little more. So I took this off. And let me just pull the plug on it here. And it's 53-watt LEDs, hence 150-watt lamp. Um, I plugged it in. I saw a couple of different colors. And again, the specifications goes down a whole list of what you're getting and you know it does most of them in um, nanometers which is nm it says it gives you one four ten two four thirties five four sixties uh, two five nineties two six hundred and ten twenty nine six hundred and thirties six six sixties one seven thirty and then it has one sixty five hundred k and one um, hundred and twenty-five, I mean, twelve thousand five hundred K. So that does add up to fifty. But when you look at the light and how it's populated, there's really only I see maybe four different kinds of lights by the labeling on it. You know, they have them labeled on here, and there's really only four different colors that they have them. Most of them are not labeled. So I tend to believe there's four colors, not all of those I listed. But maybe some of them give you a little multiple zing. I don't know. Okay, so we put that aside. And it's an aluminum plate. Um, it's called a license plate. The metal, you know, it is very Chinese black box. So um, BRS was calling them a license plate quality. But you really don't need so much for 3 watt LEDs. They do create heat, but this will absorb the heat. And look at the fan in this thing. 
this this whole body of this thing is mostly fan so you are getting a proper cooling I believe and I have tried to desolder one of these LEDs on the Chinese black boxes and let me tell you this is a great heat sink because it's very difficult to melt that solder and I have a decent soldering iron so we'll put that aside and what do we see inside well you have your main like a PC plug with your three prongs here you have that adapter and that's probably pretty popular because if they're selling them to the US they just give you the cord if they're selling them in the UK they just change the cord and it's probably always the same light so what do we see in here two separate power supplies okay um, a, a lower wattage one it's probably 12 volts for this electric fan and then a larger wattage one which is probably also 12 volts but I don't know I should have metered it maybe I will and put it in the comments for anybody who's interested uh, one thing I did notice the line side which is your house current um, they have these little rubberized regular spade connectors okay with no real protection from the elements but then they splice into these pretty cool looking I'm trying to get light here I don't have the best light these pretty cool looking connectors and one goes to each power supply so these look like they seal up pretty good you know they're almost like what you see under the hood of a car but the fact that they start out with this doesn't impress me but again we're talking about a $30 light made in China um, also this power supply has an extra set of fan leads under here uh, you can't see it here's the here's the two fan leads I'm sorry the quality is so bad there's two leads here positive and negative and there's an extra two there so they didn't even take the time to like clip out the two leads you don't need so you have exposed leads in here as well so yeah it's not the best thing for salt water environment but it's probably just as good as everybody using one of those uh, plant grow lights with the curly bulb in it you know what I mean the one that clips on with all the metal and uh, the metal spring-loaded clamp and then the big metal funnel reflector so I thought I'd break it down let me pause it and I'll turn on the light all right it just took me a minute to plug this in and put the computer plug into it let me turn on the power strip and right away you hear that fan well that fans keeping everything cool but the fan is not cooling this plate right now and you see there's really only a couple of different colors now I'm holding this heat sink in my hand and although it's only been on for a few minutes I don't feel any warmth any substantial warmth okay no it is getting warm towards the middle but not hot so between that and this fan blowing on it you're going to be all right with the license plate. I just have to keep saying that. I'm sorry. Now, as far as the growth that you get from these lights, I have to be honest, I'm not seeing a very big difference between the 100-watt compact fluorescent, um, the curly bulb with the metal reflector, and this I'm not my complaints about this uh, my eyes are sensitive to this red light if I am looking in my refugium while this light is on everything else in the world looks, looks green <laughs> so um, so yeah if your stand um, if your stand has doors on it and you can't see the light when it's on maybe it's okay does it grow algae? Oh, it does grow algae. Um, Pat Murphy from Murphy's Reefing grew some chato and it looked like it was in a hay baler. So, yes, and he was using this light. So, yes, they do work. And uh, you want to know which lights are best and all that? I think BRS has a very, very involved video that goes over all the different lightings and, uh, you know, how they do their experiments. So, 
Yes. So all in all, the light will work. It's under thirty dollars. You pay a little more on Amazon Prime, but you can have it sometimes the same day, depending on where you live. And uh, short of them lying about the glass, <laughs> everything else is what you would expect for an inexpensive light made in China. And it will grow your macroalgae. I, I think it's really uh, meant for the hydroponics. Not meant for, but I think that's, you know, its main use and why it's being sold. And uh, they say the, the life of the light is above 50,000 hours. But they also said that was glass. So take it for what it's worth. And I hope you enjoyed my little UFO lighting tutorial teardown. Um, thanks for watching. So long. Okay, I, I tore apart the power supply because I was curious, and then I thought I would show you what's in here. And it's basically just a push and pull, 12 volt. It's actually about 13.5 volts. And uh, two tiny little transformers, two caps, and a couple of surface mount integrated circuits, which probably just regulate the voltage and do the, the diode thing for the bridge rectifier changing AC to DC but uh, yeah I, I don't know the um, the wattage but I mean I know the wattage of the light but I don't know what this produces and what it's capable of but this is definitely not like something that would run your laptop <laughs> successfully but we are just talking LEDs so thought I'd throw that in Again, thanks for watching. Bye.